Hi, this is King of Review. We need to find the minimum value of a logarithmic function where the base is one half, a number between zero and one. When the base of a log is between zero and one, the function will be a decreasing function, meaning as the expression inside the log gets bigger, the value of y, the log, gets smaller. So if we want the minimum, the lowest value of y, it follows that we need to find the maximum, the highest value, of the expression inside the log. This expression is a parabola, a parabola where the initial coefficient is negative, meaning if we were to graph this function, negative x squared plus 2x plus 7 on a graph, we would get a parabola that is upside down, something like this. If we want the maximum of that parabola, that corresponds to the point at the top, called the vertex of the parabola. So, if we can figure out what point the vertex is at, we will know where its maximum value is, which will tell us where the minimum value of y is. So let's take this quadratic equation, this parabola, negative x squared plus 2x plus 7, and try to put it into what's called vertex form. If we can change this into vertex form, that will tell us where the vertex is. We find vertex form by completing the square. So to start, I'm going to focus on the two terms that have x's in them. I'd like to factor out this negative sign, factor out a negative 1, so that these two terms become x squared minus 2x. And I'm going to leave a space inside those parentheses, because the key part of completing the square is taking the coefficient of x, negative 2, dividing it by 2, and squaring it. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 and negative 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to add 1 inside the parentheses. Of course, it's not fair to just add 1. I have to balance that out somehow. I haven't really added 1, though. Because 1 is inside these parentheses, and these parentheses are multiplied by a negative, I've really just added negative 1. To balance that, I'm going to also add a positive 1 outside the parentheses, so that I haven't effectively changed the problem at all. I now have negative parentheses, x squared minus 2x plus 1, plus 7 plus 1 is plus 8. But the goal of completing the square is to make a perfect square, and I have x squared minus 2x plus 1 factors into x minus 1 squared. And this is called vertex form. The vertex of the parabola, according to this equation, is the number inside the parentheses, negative 1, except it's the opposite sign of what's in the parentheses, so it would actually be a positive one, and then the number outside the parentheses, 8. What matters to us here is the highest value of this equation, of this expression. We just figured out that the highest value of this equation is 8. So if I want the minimum value of the log, this means that I have to take the log, base 1 half, of 8. 8 is the highest that this expression can be, which means this will give me the lowest possible value for y. All right, now we don't really know what this is. Let's call it some number a. There's a nice property we can use to help us figure out what a equals. It says if we have the log base b of some number c, and that's equal to some number d, we can write this equivalently as b to the d power equals c. So we can change our expression into 1 half to the a power is equal to 8. Now, I have a 2 in this 1 half, and I know that 2 to the third power is equal to 8. So let's change 1 half into 2 to the negative 1 power. Negative 1 power is the same as taking the reciprocal. And now I have a power of 2. There's one more property we need, the property of exponents, that says if we have x to the a power, and that's raised to the b power. That really is just x to the a times b power. So we have 2 to the negative a equals 8. Since I know 2 to the third equals 8, that means that negative a has to be equal to 3, which means a is negative 3. And there's the answer to what the minimum value of y is. Thanks for watching.